What did Jesus do at the cross? He paid the full price for you and me. His blood is strong enough to wash away every sin, every guilt, every shame, everything that you're holding. How many times does the devil come and remind you of your past? How many times do you feel condemned by your past? How many times have you said, I'm not good enough for God to use me? I want to tell you this morning that God uses ordinary people. God uses the greatest sinners to become saints. God used Saul in the Bible to become a Paul that will write 13 books in the New Testament, that will go out and do apostolic work and establish churches and write most of what we see in the New Testament. God will change someone from a persecutor to a follower of Christ, from a persecutor to an apostle, to a saint one, to a Holy Spirit filled one, to a Peter that is, is impulsive. How many of you feel like you're impulsive sometimes? Come on, you're in good company this morning. Don't let your character disqualify you from God, filling you this morning again with His presence. God can go beyond your weaknesses, and He can fill it with His strength. And when He begins to fill you, those weaknesses become your strength. Amen. Even a Peter needed to be a bold guy. That's why Peter put his foot in it many times. Amen. And Jesus had to even say to him, Satan, get behind me. You have the things of earth in mind, not of heaven. Peter, get your mind on the heavenly things. You see, God will use that character of yours, and he will shape it into something that's beautiful. He will use the boldness that you have. So many times you say, my kid is so outspoken, I wish he would shut up sometimes. Come on. Don't be religious now. But sometimes God uses that boldness in a positive way. When the Spirit comes upon you, when He fills you, He begins to use that boldness for His kingdom. He begins to use that way that your kid has for the kingdom. And you thought it was something bad, but God turned it for something good. I'm speaking to someone here this morning. Before God sends you, He cleanses you. He washes you. You come to the cross and Bob Goff says the following, God often uses the least qualified, most available people to get things done. You don't need a qualification this morning for God to use you. You don't need any qualification. God's Spirit qualifies you. God word, God's Word qualifies you. God Himself qualifies you. When He has called you, He doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the called. Amen. Write that down somewhere. He doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the called. When you are called by God, He places His Spirit inside of you. There were fishermen. There were tax collectors. There were doctors. All kinds that were following Jesus in His discipleship group. And He took all of them with their weaknesses. And He made them bold men of God. He placed His Spirit inside of them so that they can go beyond their character. Beyond what they think is their limitation. Think of the thing you like the least about yourself. This morning and God will say that doesn't matter I will use it for my glory 